So you meet someone for the first time, and for whatever reason, you're intrigued. You want to learn more, because on paper, this person seems amazing and kind. But there's that nagging voice in the back of your head. What is this person really like? Wouldn't it be nice to have some insight to help your intuition along? One of the advantages of numerology is that within moments of meeting someone, you can learn their name and instantly gain many powerful insights about who they are. According to numerology, a person's name contains within it powerful vibrations that reveal all kinds of insights about their personal potential, inner motivations, and deepest talents. Compare that to something like the Myers-Briggs personality test or any other personality test which is time-consuming and practically impossible to do with someone you've just met. And compare it to astrology, where you'd need to learn someone's birthday and their exact time of birth to get an accurate reading. But someone's name is often the first thing we learn about them. If you're skeptical at this point, you might be wondering, what's really in a name? Aren't names just meaningless labels? But according to an article by Jenna Goudreau, there's growing evidence that your name can have an unexpectedly big impact on your lifetime success, from your higher ability to your spending habits. A New York University study found that people with easier to pronounce names often have higher status positions at work. Psychologist Adam Alter says that when we can process a piece of information more easily, when it's simpler to understand, we tend to like it more. The power of your name is something that's long been understood in numerology, which goes even further and finds that our names contain unique vibrations. And if we delve deeper into the letters of your name, it takes us into the realm of soul and intuition and brings us to the subconscious energies that exist within it. So how can we use numerology to unlock these insights? To figure that out, we have to look at what's called the expression number, which is also sometimes called the destiny number. In Pythagorean numerology, the expression number is the second most important element in your numerology chart. In terms of importance, it's behind only the life path number, which we explored in this video. The expression number reveals your natural talents, abilities, and the areas of your life that must be developed in order for you to reach your fullest potential. Your expression number is derived from your full name on your birth certificate, and here's how to calculate it. First, you convert each letter of your birth name into a corresponding number using the Pythagorean table, which looks like this. Let's work through an example. Let's say we want to calculate the expression number for Paul McCartney. We start out by writing his full legal name, which is James Paul McCartney. And using the Pythagorean numerology table, we work out the number for each letter in the name. In other words, we match each letter in the name to a number value in the Pythagorean table. And when we do that, we get a list of numbers that looks like this. Then we add each of the digits together, and when we do that, we get the number 65. Anytime we have a number that's more than one digit, we add each of the digits together until there's only one digit left. We call this process reducing the numbers. The only exception is if we get the numbers 11, 22, or 33. We don't reduce these numbers. They're master numbers which have their own specific meanings. In this case, we reduce the number 65 by adding its digits, 6 and 5, together. And when we do that, we get the number 11, which we don't reduce any further, because it's a master number. And so Paul McCartney has an 11 expression number. But let's say you only know someone's first name, or you only know their last name. Even if you don't know their full name, numerology can reveal powerful insights from these names as well. Let's go back to our example with Paul McCartney. We can separate the vibrations of the name into a first name, middle name, and last name. Using the same chart, we find that the letters in his first name, James, has these number values. And when we add and reduce those numbers, we get the number 3. In numerology, the first name reveals insights into your spiritual aspirations and goals in your lifetime. In this case, the first name James reveals a 3 vibration. We also find that the letters in the middle name Paul has these number values. And when we add and reduce these numbers, we get the number 5. According to numerology, the middle name reveals extra resources and qualities that you can rely on in times of crisis and spiritual growth. In this case, the name Paul has a 5 vibration. Lastly, we find that the last name McCartney 
gives us these number values. And when we add and reduce these numbers, we get the number 3. According to numerology, the last name tells us powerful karmic lessons and important issues that arise in our family histories and our family relationships. In this case, the name McCartney has a 3 vibration. What this shows is that even if you only have part of someone's full name, you can still learn quite a lot about that person. But when you combine all the letter energies from your full birth name, it reveals the total vibration from birth to death, capturing the life lessons, qualities, and hidden potential that's contained within your name. And for Paul McCartney, when you combine the first, middle, and last name, that's the 11 expression number. Now that you know how to calculate your expression number, let's look at what each of the expression numbers mean. You're independent and self-reliant. You're a natural and effective leader. You're driven to explore and continually push yourself forward. More than most people, you have the ability to concentrate and visualize your goals, which makes them more attainable. You also have strong convictions. You stand up for what you believe in, and you aren't afraid to stand your ground and defend these beliefs. You protect the people you love and care about. But sometimes, you so powerfully identify with your goals that you can miss seeing potential drawbacks and disadvantages in your plans until it's too late. You would do well to maintain a certain level of flexibility and patience so you aren't rushing things ahead before they're ready. You have a highly developed sense of intuition. You're empathic, which gives you a talent for understanding people and persuading them it also gives you a kind of radar that helps you avoid many landmines in social situations, while at the same time also bringing out people's goodwill. You're a natural and effective diplomat. Because of this, you often do better in a collaborative role rather than a leadership one, although you can also lead when you need to. However, you can also find yourself thrown out of balance by an unkind word, an argument, or a conflict. You might find yourself in a situation where you get 100 compliments and one criticism, but your mind will fixate on that one negative criticism. As a result, you can become more upset by these things compared to people without your sensitivity. You do best when you're able to tune out these distractions and focus on what's really important. You have a powerful imagination and an expansive personality which allows you to excel in creative areas, whether it's writing, music, design, or visual arts. You bring a cheerful and positive energy to the people in your life. It's infectious. You have the ability to express yourself authentically and to speak your truth, and this gives you the capacity to inspire hope and wonder in the people around you. At the same time, you can spread yourself a little too thin, trying to do too many things at once. This can drain your energy and keep you from fully taking advantage of your creative talents. Concentration and focus are the keys to your success. You are the bedrock of your home and social circle. You're a natural organizer and manager, which makes you the effective foundation of your home. You're methodical, and you do best when you take a systematic approach to the challenges in your life and when you can see a project through from start to finish. You have an intuitive grasp of structure, which gives you the capacity to turn your dreams into a reality. You're the most practical of all the expression numbers, and when you have the right people around you, you can do things that have tremendous real-world impact. At the same time, you can sometimes become too narrowly focused on the details. It can make you overly cautious and close you off from other ideas. You have to guard against the tendency to become a workaholic and to remind yourself to slow down and enjoy the journey. You are a natural explorer and a free spirit. You have a spontaneous energy that draws you to travel and adventure. While many people are afraid of change, you actually thrive in times of uncertainty. You have a gift for improvising and adapting to the moment, which makes you uncommonly flexible. You're drawn to progress and new ideas. You're also an excellent communicator, which gives you a rare charisma and magnetism. Of all the expression numbers, you are the most worldly, but you also find yourself growing bored quickly. Before you've finished one thing, you're already thinking about the next challenge, long before your work is finished. 
You often do best when you're coming up with the vision and the ideas of a project and when you can leave the minute details to someone else. You are a natural counselor and healer. You're uncommonly perceptive to the things happening around you and you're sensitive to people's needs. You tend to put the needs of other people before your own, sometimes to a fault. You have a strong need for family and to form strong bonds with those around you. You also have the ability to find beauty in most things, even in unlikely places. This gives you the heart and the soul of an artist. You seek to create harmony and beauty in your own life and in your own home. However, duty will follow you all your life and everywhere you go. Sometimes it can feel like too much of a burden. You can also be overly protective of the people you love. You tend to do best when you can periodically find ways to recharge, relax, and to take care of your own needs first. You are a natural mentor. You have an analytical mind and a natural curiosity for the answers to life's hidden questions. You're also very observant. This can drive you to explore these questions through science, philosophy, and spirituality. You look for clarity and truth. This gives you the rare ability to reflect and to look inward and to find creative solutions to the challenges in your life. You have a powerful sense of self-awareness and insight, but it can also make you overly critical of yourself. You're much harder on yourself than the people around you. Another challenge you have is that too much social interaction can drain you. You need a certain amount of privacy and a place where you can escape from the hustle and bustle of life. Out of all the expression numbers, you are the practical realist. You have within you the potential to achieve great things, even more than you realize. Whatever challenge you choose to pursue, you strive to be the best and most successful in your field. You have an intuitive understanding of the bigger picture. This gives you the ability to see the broader challenges ahead and to apply your intelligence to anticipate many problems before they happen. At the same time, you can find yourself questioning your own abilities and wondering if you've really made the right choices. Life will test you many times with obstacles that seem insurmountable. But these are just opportunities for you to learn how to use your talents and to find out just how much practical power and determination lies within you. You are compassionate and idealistic. You're attuned to people's emotions, which makes you sensitive to the suffering of others. Because of this, you're bothered by the injustice and unfairness that you find in the world, and you're drawn to causes that make a positive impact in the universe, and especially in situations where you give support to those who can't defend themselves. There's a sincere and genuine energy in the way that you deal with people. But on the other hand, you often neglect to express what you really feel with the people you love. Your challenge is to learn to let people in and to find the strength to be vulnerable when the need arises. Eleven is a master expression number. Master numbers are rare and special vibrations in numerology. You attract powerful insights, ideas, and intuitions that seem to come unexpectedly out of nowhere. You have tremendous sensitivity, which fuels your creativity and imagination. But it's also caused you pain and put you in some tough situations in the past. Sometimes you have unrealistic expectations and you hold yourself to impossible standards. But whether you like it or not, you are a conduit for higher vibrations. You have tremendous integrity and you're uncompromising in the pursuit of truth. But it also means that you're sometimes unwilling to play politics to get ahead. In some ways, this can limit your progress, but it also makes you very trustworthy and people can sense your authenticity. Your challenge is to learn to harness and control your unique talents instead of trying to run away from them. Twenty-two is a master expression number, which is a rare and special vibration in numerology. It's often called the master builder you have a unique gift for building and manifesting the visions you have in your mind. Even as a child, you've always had a sense of wanting to leave a lasting and positive structure in the world. 
but these same feelings can paralyze you with self-doubt. It can be tempting for you to settle for something less than this, to tell yourself that your dreams are unrealistic and not worth pursuing. But this only leads to frustration, and you can only do this for so long, because on some level you feel called to greater things. Your challenge is to find the courage to trust in your own talents and to believe in the beauty of your own dreams. Thirty-three is a master expression number, which is a very rare and special vibration in numerology. It's often called the master teacher. You are highly creative in all areas of life, especially in visual arts and music. You're also very intuitive, and these gifts make you a natural counselor and healer. You give comfort and warmth to the people you love. You're also a great communicator, and you have a gift for explaining complex ideas in ways that are clear and easy to understand. But sometimes you can find yourself taking on too many things and carrying too many responsibilities, which leaves you feeling overly burdened and drained. Your ability to focus is the key to unlocking your fullest potential. And if you want to uncover the life lessons that are hidden in your birth date, click on this video and discover how to calculate your life path number. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. It helps me to bring more content like this to you. As always, thanks for watching, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next video.